Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. We are going to drop the short front today. It's going to be the same as basic pant patterns, but just short, no legs. Uh, you need your body measurement, waist, hip, hip length, and crotch depth. Go to my website, patternstudio101.com. I have a how to measure guide there. You can download it for free. One thing I want to point out before we start is that I'm going to add only one inch ease at the hip. I'm not going to add any ease at the waist and this one inch ease for the hip will be on the back panel. So my back hip will be bigger than the front hip. I mentioned why I'm doing that in the last video. If you missed it, watch the video, episode 61. And I explained how to determine the dart width. You need to know the dart width to drop the short, right? Okay, let's get started. Measurement first. You need a waist. This is my example measurement. You can use yours. It's going to be final measurement. I'm not going to add any ease. And hip circumference. This is the body measurement. I'm going to add one inch is only on the back panel later when I drop to the back. And you need hip length and rise height. To calculate the dart width, find the drop. Your hip minus waist. I'm going to use the body measurement without ease because I'll add only one inch ease. It's not that big of difference. If you want to add two inches or three inches ease at your hip, use the measurement including the ease. My example drop is seven. So 8% of seven inches is 0 0.56. I would go with 5 eighths of an inch for the front dart. 16% of 7 inches equals 1.12, so my back dart will be 1 inch and 1 eighth. If your drop is big, like 9, 10, 11, then your back dart will be too big to make just one dart. Then simply make two darts on the back. So you have all the measurement you need. Let's draft. You are going to draw a rectangular first. The vertical length is your rise height. The horizontal length is a quarter of the hip. Your hip measurement divided by four. From the waistline, measure the hip length and draw a line. Because you are drafting short, draw a hemline 3 inches from the crotch. So here's your waist. This is your hip line. This will be your crotch line. This is the hem. Here's the center front. This is going to be your side seam. You are going to extend the crotch line from the center front. The length would be hip divided by 16. Depending on your belly shape, you can add or subtract by 1 eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. And then find the midpoint of this whole crotch line and draw a perpendicular line. This must be perpendicular to all other lines, waist, hip, crotch, and the hem. On top of this base frame, we are going to start to draw the front. You are going to calculate a quarter of your waist plus front dart width. You know your front dart width, 8% uh, of your pants drop. From the center front, measure a quarter of your waist plus front dart width and draw a side curve to the hip line. If you like your side seam curve, that's good. But depending on the drop, your side seam curve might be too curvy. If you think it's too curvy, then you can move your whole waist towards the side seam. Quarter of an inch or maximum half of an inch. 
then you are going to have a new center front line. So play around like this to find the curve you like. Go back to my pattern. On the waistline, go down quarter of an inch and draw a new guideline because I want to lower the center front to keep the side seam right angle. Draw a waistline, 90 degrees at the side. Front dart will be on the crease line. Find the midpoint of your hip length and go up 3 quarters of an inch. This is the front dart length. On the new waistline, mark a half of your dart opening each side and draw a dart. When you draw the dart legs, extend by 1 8th of an inch or 1 16th of an inch and merge to the waistline nice and smooth. Once you sew the dart, the waistline uh, will be nice and smooth. So this is your front waistline. Next, the crotch. When you draw this crotch curve, it should connect very smoothly to this center front. From the crotch point, draw a vertical line and go in half of an inch at the hem. Draw an inseam. For the out seam, draw a straight line to the hem and go in half of an inch and connect to the hip. This is basic short front in green. We didn't draft the thigh, knee and ankle, but uh, you can apply this process to make your any kind of pants patterns. We are going to draft the pants uh, back panel next time. If you are not on my email list yet, go to patternstudio101.com and sign up for my email list. My email is also all about pattern making. If you like my videos, then you will love my newsletters. Please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Have a beautiful week. See you next time.